Holy Ghost all over his body. Fire of the Holy Ghost consume every disease, every sickness in his body right now. As you watch your screen, you can see that this man came here today with general body pains all over his body to an accident that happened while he was at work. He's come here today with so much pain, so much setback, so much limitation in his own life. Imagine experiencing that kind of pain every single day. But he's come here today believing that Jesus Christ has a solution for him. That Jesus Christ will bring an end to his problem and bring an end to his pain. And he will walk out of this place completely free from all pain in Jesus' mighty name. As you can see right now, the name Jesus working in the spirit through his life and in his body as he's receiving that prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. You will spare. What have you done in his life? In the mighty name of Jesus, fire Holy Ghost all over your body. Fire Holy Ghost all over your body right now. Fire Holy Ghost all over your body. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who are you? No. Who are you? No, no. Answer right no. now in the mighty name of Jesus. No. Answer loud and clear. Who are you? No. Fire Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire all over his body all over his body. Fire Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You cannot stand in all your liberty. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who are you? Uh, answer right now. Who are you? Uh, I don't know. What have you done in his life? Uh, answer right now in the mighty name of Jesus. What have you done in his life? What have you done? His family. I destroyed my family. You destroy his family. Speak louder. What have you done to his body? To his health? I don't know why. Speak I destroyed my family. I destroyed. You destroy his family? Yeah. How did you destroy his family? I don't know. Fire all the ghosts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You evil spirit, your time has expired. You made the greatest mistake to, to allow him to come to this place. Right now, pack your bags and in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, each and one of you, out, out right now. Out of his life right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of his body, out of his life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You cannot stand in arena liberty. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire Holy Ghost, fire Holy Ghost all over his body. You're back on the floor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of his body, out of his life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name. Out. You're back on the floor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every single one of you. Out of his body. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare you free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, get up. Sir, get up. I say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say it again. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. You have been set free. Thank you, thank you. We welcome you today to the Anointing Water Prayer Line in the United States. Can you tell us your name and where you're from? Edgar Bilbao, I come from California. Uh, can you tell us what was the reason that brought you here today to receive prayer with the anointing water? Oh, because I come, I come in a lot of pain in my body, uh, because I have cirrhosis, I have ulcers, I have diabetes, uh, hair hair, many problems in my body. So you mean to say that you actually had pain all over your body due to an accident that you had at work uh, that also brought you diabetes and ulter ulcers? Yes. And today as you were receiving that prayer with the anointing water, what can you say was happening to you? I, I don't know. I, I explain. I, I don't want it to stain because it's my legs is uh, shaking. Uh, I don't know. You know, I, I feel tired only. But uh, after that one, I feel good. So you mean to say that during that prayer, your body was feeling weak, it was hard for you to stand, but afterwards, when you were declared free, that you had felt very good after? Uh, yeah. Uh, as you were receiving that prayer, were you aware of anything speaking out of you at the time? No. 
there was an evil spirit that mentioned that it had tried to destroy your family. What can you say about this? What kind of things were going on in your family? You know, because I, I, I divorced, I'm, I got put out of my house, I lost my house, I lost everything. I'm broke right now, and my family is, uh, you know, uh, what is the word? It's affect to my family. And I, my dad, it, you know, I got the schizophrenia. My son is EDD. Uh, after the my problems, is my dad got it last eight months ago. So you mean to say that this evil spirit has affected your family and that it has caused your family to be financially broke, it has caused you a divorce, your daughter has schizophrenia, and your son has ADD? Yes. And so now that you have received that prayer with the anointing water, do you believe that Jesus Christ has delivered you from this problem, from this evil spirit that has caused setback in your family? Definitely, yes. Amen. Well, we believe with you that Jesus Christ has healed you and delivered you from this evil spirit that had caused setback in your family, that tried to destroy your family. And then we know that Jesus Christ has brought a solution into your life, and you'll begin to see the fruits of that solution in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Amen. Amen. Well, we want to encourage you to make God's word the standard for your life so that this wonderful healing and deliverance will remain permanent in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Thank you, son. Thank you, Jesus.